Did you know that Cristiano Ronaldo was unfairly stripped of his two best goals for Portugal? The first of them was when he was just 21 years old and Portugal were playing a friendly against Azerbaijan. If you've never seen this gem before, you won't be able to look away. Can you believe the referee said the ball didn't go in? It was daylight robbery and Cristiano was outraged. And so were the fans. Deco's control of the ball with his chest and Cristiano's finesse are worthy of remembrance. And so is this work of art, scored against Spain in 2010. Because the goal had been Puskas prize worthy. But do you want to know what he said after the match? He truly couldn't believe it. Dab apologizing, because the two are great friends. And Cristiano even went from victim to culprit a few years later, when a goal by Paulo Dybala was disallowed because CR7 interrupted the play. On that occasion, it was Ronaldo who apologized, but the whole thing has made Cristiano more suspicious, which bubbles to the surface every time a goal is disallowed, and what he did against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League is proof of this. When they disallowed one of his goals, he was so outraged that during halftime, he approached a cameraman and asked to see the playback. And that time the goal was correctly disallowed, he was offside. But to be fair, who wouldn't be angry in his shoes? Because two masterpieces are missing from his portfolio of the best goals of his career. But well, let's be honest, there are plenty of other gems in there. El comportamiento, el comportamiento de Cristiano Ronaldo es una, una, un jugador normal, es decir, obviamente que te imaginas que debe saber que todas las cámaras están enfocándolo, están haciendo un seguimiento, pero yo tuve un trato cordial, en verdad, eh, más allá de, 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 de lo profesional que uno tiene que estar, se tiene que abstraer también a, ante la figura, entonces eh, no hay favoritismo para eso, sí hay un enorme orgullo de saber que, que uno está dirigiendo uno de los jugadores más importantes del mundo. Ya hacer mención de lo que pasó en el tiro libre, obviamente, eh, en el libro que, que uno escribió, mi autobiografía, que se llama Que cobras. Eh, obviamente que, que, que esto lo hacía siempre yo en los tiros libres. Lo hacía en el fútbol local, el fútbol americano. Cada vez que tenía la oportunidad de poder adelantarme en un balón detenido a, a lo que podía venir, eh, obviamente le preguntaba al jugador qué iba a hacer. Y eso me permitía a mí poder lograr, lograr una ubicación eh, mejor o predilecta, porque los jugadores en ese caso también. 